Now, students in public colleges of education are disappointed in the government for failing to reach an agreement for their striking teachers to return to the classroom. The students have started packing home as the Minister of Education has announced closure of the colleges. Here's Benjamin Edu's report. Tutors at the various colleges of education have been on strike since the beginning of November, demanding payment of their market premium as well as book and research allowances. Several meetings between the Colleges of Education Teachers Association, CTAG, and the government have ended in a stalemate. After more than 21 days of no academic activities, the National College for Tertiary Education, in consultation with the Ministry of Education on Friday, directed all 46 Colleges of Education be shut. When our news team visited the St. Louis College of Education and the Wesley College of Education in Kumasi, the halls of residence in the two colleges had been locked up. Students were already packing home as taxi drivers and head porters cashed in on the situation. The students were disappointed with the government's failure to resolve the impasse. It's not good, according to me. We are level to address. It's not good. Even the teachers have given us some books to read it, but when you read it, you don't, you can't even understand it unless someone guides you to do it. Very, very unpleasing. It's very for reader level hand, uh, level hundreds. We've not learned anything. For us, um, our tutors haven't given us any pamphlets, any books, nothing. So we just even don't know what we are going to do. Jonas Siabua, a level 100 student of the St. Ambrose College of Education in the Bronga Half region, had visited the St. Louis College for an inter-halls debate. He described the current situation as sad. Since the upgrade of the Colleges of Education 2016, tutors have been demanding improved conditions of service similar to that of their colleagues at the universities. 